Okay, welcome back. This is me, your boy, the man, NJ to the City, with the number two MTO, reporting for NJ to the City News. So, with my brother Nation Entertainment account, because this is still the one that I have the most subscribers on, even though it grows slow, slow, slow. <clears throat> but it's still the one that most people know me by. So, I'm probably going to keep this YouTube alive, but I will definitely possibly create my own YouTube title, NJ, my other, my own YouTube for this channel. Or, sorry, <laughs> bloopers. I will eventually end up creating my own separate YouTube for this type of stuff, NJ to the City News, or I'll keep it all on the Brother Nation Entertainment. I might ask everybody to vote on that, or leave me their comments, um, leave me their thoughts and opinions about that in the comment section. Should I keep NJ to the City News on this channel, or should I separate it and branch it out into another? Um, it's on YouTube, <clears throat> and so on. We'll see, because I kind of, <coughs> forgive me, I'm still kind of sick. Because I'm very invested in Injury to the City News. I'm very invested in, you know, trying to go first, do everything that I can with it, and see what we can further further grow and advance with it. So on and so on. So, to an extent, let's continue to get into more Injury to the City News. But again, actually, from more starters, Injury to the City News was literally created off of whatever day that, <clears throat> whatever day that, what's his name, Ron DeSantis wrote into law, Texting while driving law in Florida. Whenever he signed that in the law, um, that's when this that's when this account, this um not count. That's when this um Ninja to the City News was created. Because I just thought to myself, you know what? I know I'm a little bit political, and I know I have some opinions about various topics. So why not create my own independent news company and website? That's what I did. Ninja to the City News. Copyright. Ninja to the City News. Literally, you can look that up right now. Ninja to the City News. I don't have the, the, the website fully developed yet. It is on there, though. You can definitely see some of the photos and some of the things I, I've written on my website. But I don't have it fully developed yet. I'm continuously de developing it. But that is what it is. NJTCityNews.com. It's mine. All mine. All summer long. All the big guys. So, yeah, that's what it is. My own independent news web, you know, website, <clears throat> platform, company, etc. And I look forward to continuously doing what I got first can to help bring the entire state of Florida great news that focuses essentially on our communities as a whole with everything. You know, crime, poverty, health, wealth, peace, excitement, hope, healing, church, faith, God, religion, etc., etc. Kids, I love you kids so dearly, so immensely of all age groups. But definitely we're going to say... Eh, screw it. Why not go and just say elementary, middle, and high school rather than leaving high school out? Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try what I can to definitely over time. This is what I'm going to do with Injury to the City News. I'm literally going to make Injury to the City News. You can literally look on my Instagram. It, it really says they're a proud staple of news within the community. That's what Injury to the City News is, and that's what it's going to continue to keep growing and building up to be. This is something where I can tell you my mission for Injury to the City News is literally to help all young kids feel like, hey, you know you've made it when you're mentioned on Injury to the City's block. When you're mentioned on Injury to the City News, you know you've made it. And so on. I will always try to give everybody the fairest that I can with whatever it is that I'm reporting on. <clears throat> Particularly with kids. Because I love you kids so much. I don't ever want you to think, oh, he's just some internet bully. No. If I call you out on whatever I call you out on, trust me. I'm going to be as fair and godly objective as I can. I am not here to bully. I'm not here to be petty and start fights and negative rights. I'm here to definitely fight for your rights, your freedoms, your privileges, and more. Fight for your right to get back right with Christ. Fight for your right to be clean with Christ, etc. <coughs> fight for your family's right to live the good life. That's what I'm here to do. All that other real stuff that I tend to keep going on, oh, I can make this probably into days worth of stuff. But that's what Injury to the City News is. It's my own independent platform right here where I can literally tell you this is what I'm trying to do. You know, help all the communities, not just around Florida, but if you look on the web website, it predominantly says Florida. You know, not just Florida, everywhere, giving you my own independent journalist takes, analyst opinions, and more because I'm, you could even say, <clears throat> You could even say, I'm absolutely tired 
You could literally tell. You could literally say, I'm absolutely tired, ladies and gentlemen, of looking at all these other different news outlets, how fake, double standard, two faced, and biased they are, and thinking to myself, wow, I know I have a lot of different analytical takes and opinions about various news topics. Why not put them out there on something, through something, to discuss something? I know. That, you know, just like Big Sean's song says, one, one man can change the world. I believe that. In Christ's name, what you truth is, you one man can change the world. And I also believe the fact being that <clears throat> it's just a lot of work to do to promote God's love, hope, and healing through the furtherance of all people, through all vices. There's a lot, and you have to be willing to go through the steps and processes, hurt and heal, in order to get through it all. And that's a part of what Injured to the City News is here to do. I love the kids, and I definitely am going to report.